Hey, what's up guys? My name is Cameron Gallagher from We Are Film and we are back with a very cool product that got an extra little twist to it. So let's get in. I know it has been a while. We have not been on YouTube in quite some time. And that is because we have been hard at work creating another short film called Lucid. You can actually check the teaser trailer out right here, down below, somewhere on the screen or down below. Go check it out. We've been working hard on that and working on a special feature film project based on Lucid. So we have been very busy, but a lot has been going on. We've got a lot more gear to talk about soon. And we have a lot of cool, exciting things to talk about, including today's product, and that is a universal foam grip. So Andy Cine was super kind enough to send over their universal phone cage. Now, of course, as always, they have nothing to do with this episode. They're not paying us to say anything. This is totally our opinion. And to be honest, I was a little hesitant at first to take a look at a phone cage, not because I think it's below us or there's no reason to use it. I just don't have a giant need for this type of product. We don't typically shoot with our phone that often, and there's really never a time that we would be shooting, especially something where we'd need a cage that often with our phone. But then I started thinking about it and I thought, you know what, there's a lot of people out there that will use their cell phone, and there's a lot of people out there that can use their phone beyond its normal use case, and it's, you know, the potential that it has. So I thought, why not take a look at it? So after receiving the box, instantly, I looked at this thing and I said, Zach, I think there's another use case for this. And we'll talk about that a little bit in a minute because it is a also secret weapon and now has been used a ton in a lot of different stuff. And I'll talk about that in a minute. So this is a very basic solid cage for your phone. It does a lot of things just well. It's got a really nice solid feel to it. It holds pretty much any phone. We use the iPhone 13 Pro Max and the iPhone 13, both fit in there perfectly fine. So I would assume other than a really strange phone, it would probably fit. I'm not sure about something like an iPhone mini, but again, I can't swear to those. We didn't test them out. It has a really nice adjustable clamp that holds the phone in place. It also has a bunch of mounting points all around on both sides. So you have two different handles on either side, both with mounting points, as well as a few quarter 20 taps on top and also two cold shoe mounts on top as well. So why would you use one of these? Well, the main thing is to take your hands off of the phone itself, or in this case, away from the sensor, which really just allows for much more stable footage. But the other part of that is adding accessories. So things like a microphone or any cold shoe adapters that you could use to pretty much mount whatever you wanted. But also those quarter 20 threads can help you add anything you want, a light, another accessory, a battery maybe, pretty much anything you'd possibly think of. So after looking at this thing, I realized it looked exactly like a monitor cage that was much, much more expensive. So after a little bit of modding and having to take off the actual phone grip, we came up with a awesome monitor cage. So this thing right here is our monitor cage that we built using this. And you can see that it's pretty basic and it doesn't have a ton of crazy stuff going on. But what we're doing is actually using the Hollyland 400S Pro up on top of the receiver. Um, normally we'd have an NPF in that. Um, we could also use a battery distribution, but I'll talk about that in a second. And then in this case, I have the small HD five inch because I'm using the seven inch Blackmagic monitor, but it also does fit most seven inch monitors. And the Blackmagic Assist is a pretty chonky one. So unless you have like a gigantic monitor, it'll most likely fit. So what we just did is we actually took off that mount and then we added a little quarter 20 adapter. Now I'd recommend buying some type of locking adapter because we just kind of over tighten this and hope that it's not gonna break. <laughs> Don't do that. Once you add a monitor in, and then in this case, we're just using a Sony NPF battery on the back and then we'd use one for the wireless, you now have a wireless video transmitter and really nice one too. It's solid, it has the cold shoe mounts up top so I can easily mount the uh, Hollyland up here and I could also mount something else too if I wanted to, either another receiver or anything else. I also have those other taps on top so I could add a few more accessories. And then of course I have some on the sides too, but one thing that I was thinking about in the future is that I could always add some type of V-mount adapter on the back, attach a V-mount battery on the back, which would be heavier and kind of make the weight a little more like centralized, and then just use some NPF adapters to go to the V-mount in order to power the monitor and the wireless system or whatever other accessories would be up there. And then that would power this for a bit longer. So we actually used this on Lucid on set. It was my main monitor. Well, the seven inch Blackmagic Assist was actually the main monitor, but I was using that in this rig. And it seemed to be that the Hollyland could pretty much last all day on one NPF battery, like one mid-sized one, but the monitor would chew through batteries fairly quickly. But I was really surprised at how nice this was. I mean, a lot of these small HD or these sort of like monitor specific 
handles and rigs are incredibly expensive, a few hundred dollars, which this then becomes a much cheaper option to make your own. And it's a little more DIY, which I think is fun. I will say it was a little bit difficult to remove the top. You can kind of see that one of the screws is stuck in there because um, I could not get it out after it kind of bent a little bit. But to be honest, this thing is awesome and I cannot recommend it enough. Of course, if you're shooting with a phone and you want to use a phone cage and stabilizer, this is great. It helps get rid of that shaky footage because your hands are closer to the sensor and it adds a ton of great mounting points that you can use for whatever you'd like. But I think it's also a really great budget handheld wireless monitor system for someone who's directing or maybe producing or just someone who's not gonna be near the camera. And I've been really happy with this and it's pretty much the go-to rig from now on. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. As always, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Check out some of the recent podcast episodes we've been having. We've interviewed some really amazing people. And of course, go check out the Lucid teaser trailer. Let us know what you think. Let us know, we're gonna have some hopefully behind the scenes chats. We didn't get a lot of behind the scenes footage, but I'd like to go back and sort of talk about some things we learned and some things we did differently. And let us know if you wanna see more YouTube videos. I'd love to talk more about some tech coming out and some of the gear that we've acquired over the last couple months that we've been gone. So anyway guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. I'll catch you guys later.